what's going on guys all right we got another free agent signing two in one day i just did a video and dropped that one on uh uh, Jalen Guyton, we picked him up, adding to that receiver core, which I think was a pretty good signing. Go check out that video if you haven't already. But we just got an announcement. Ian Rappaport just announced that former Saints starting offensive lineman Andres Pete is signing with the Las Vegas Raiders. Some addition to the O-line help post-draft. And so we're going to go and break this signing down um obviously offensive line is a big need especially on the right side you know we picked we we brought in jackson powers johnson which i think is going to play guard whether it be on the right or the left paramal um uh, param will end up playing opposite of him and so i think that we've really solidified the interior but one of the spots that we have a little bit of a question mark on is the right tackle position you know, we obviously have Thera Mumford there. We just picked up DJ Glaze, which could be that backup or that competition piece to see who's going to kind of take that starting role. But then you have a guy like Dalton Wagner, which was an um, undrafted free agent coming into last year. And so there's definitely some questions when it comes to the O-line. And I think this signing really is establishing some depth, but also establishing some competition bringing in a former pro bowler, a three-time pro bowler and former first round draft pick from the Saints. And so we're going to kind of break this down. We're going to see, um, I'm, I want to get your take on what you guys feel about this pickup. And so as we get into it, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what PFF has to say about Andres Pete. So Andres Pete, he's a big boy, right? He, he's typically, he has typically played tackle, but he's also played um, guard as well. And what's really tough is even though we need to kind of address the right side of the line a little bit, if there's the biggest question mark, because we have Colton Miller on the left-hand side. So on the right-hand side, we have Thera Mumford, you know, again, just a question mark. They, they might be good with him and he might be our guy, but again, just a question mark. And so, but Andres Pete, he played mainly on the left side. He played a lot of left tackle. He played some left guard or yeah, left guard, but he really didn't play on the right side, but at six, seven, 316 pounds, it's a, he's a big boy. Now, my only concern, my only concern is his injury history. And we'll talk about that uh, in, in just a second. So, but as we kind of go through his PFF grade, he had last year, he had 109 snap, snaps, which was tied for 104, or for four, which was tied for 44th. He had six penalties, which was tied for 36th. And he only allowed two sacks. Now, again, he only played, um, he didn't play the, uh, the entire 2023 season due to injury and so uh you know he he definitely has some injury concerns when it comes to his ability to produce on the field and again i've said this on multiple videos you know your your best ability is availability and so that's where again my concerns kind of come into play and so let's again let's take a look at the depth chart right let's take a look at the depth chart and let's see how, how is is Andres P going to play in? And right now, they have him slotted in behind Dylan Parham at the left guard position, which, again, I think that's right. I think there's a good chance um, that that's where he may play, and that's where he is going to compete is at that interior guard position. But the reason why I actually like this pickup is because imagine if Colton Miller gets hurt. If Colton Miller gets hurt last year because we had Jermaine Illuminor, Jer Jermaine Illuminor would slot in at that right tackle position, and that was his normal starting spot. But then Thera Mumford, Mumford would move over. And if we didn't pick up Andreas Pete that has a lot of experience at the left tackle position, if Colton Miller got hurt, that means most likely Thera Mumford would move over to left tackle. And now we have the situation to where we possibly have Delmar Glaze, a rookie, starting at the right tackle position. Or we have, um, uh, or we have Dalton Wagner an undrafted free agent from last year coming in. And so if we didn't pick up Andres Pete and Colton Miller got hurt, we could find ourselves in a pretty rough situation. And so the reason why I do like this pickup is because Andres Pete could also play left tackle. That's what he played a lot of. And so being able to have that experience and being, being able to have that ability to slot a guy in and still feel like you can continue to run the same plays, you, know, you don't have to change up your playbook too much just because a, a a guy gets hurt on the O line. I do think it was a good pickup. Now, one guy that I would have 
really like to take a look at was David Bakhtiari, the left tackle that played for Green Bay Packers. But it looks like Andres Pete is going to be the guy. Again, the contract details aren't out, so I don't know exactly what it looks like. But I think this is kind of how the depth is going to play out. You know, Andres Pete is probably going to uh, compete on the interior. But again, we may find him at the left tackle position if Colton Miller does uh, suffer any injuries. And at the end of last season, Colton Miller did have some injuries. So definitely something to uh, look out for. And so let's kind of grade this pick, guys. Um, let me know in the comment section down below, what do you grade this pick? And I, I'm going to give this pick an eight. That's my pick. Uh, or my grade because, again, one being absolute worst, 10 being the absolute best. I give it an eight because, one, if you, if Andres P can stay healthy, I think he can still produce at a fairly high level uh, in the National Football League. I don't really have any concerns with that. I just have concerns on whether or not he can stay healthy. And because of what I just explained, if Colton Miller does get hurt, then we have an automatic um, – backup to slot in at the left tackle position that has experience would have been would it have been my first pick if we brought in a left tackle no uh maybe uh, david bakhtiari is just going to ask for too much and again uh the, the contract details aren't out i could see them maybe signing him for a one-year contract maybe up to that three million dollar mark that's what i would like to see let me know in the comments down below what you think that um contract may look like but this definitely addresses a need. It definitely addresses what we need to uh, bring into this locker room. It provides really good competition because one of the things that I, one of my biggest concerns going into this year because of what I saw last year is Dylan Parham. Dylan Parham is a little undersized, and I think he really did struggle against the guys like Chris Jones, you know, the bigger defense alignment. You know, it looked like he got – kind of pushed around a little bit. And so that does concern me with Dylan Parham's size. And so this is really going to um, provide some competition, knowing that Andres Pete's going to be on Dylan Parham's heels and saying, hey, look, I can still play in this league. As long as I can stay healthy, I can find myself as a starter. So Dylan Parham needs to make sure he can step up and really produce at a high level to keep that starting position. And so, again, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this pick. Rate it 1 to 10. I definitely like the fact that we're addressing a need, and we now have a backup for Colton Miller just in case he gets hurt. And it doesn't look like we're going to fall off too much when it comes to the overall um, pieces that are in the offensive line room. So, again, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you sticking uh, with me. Let me know in the comment section below. Give me feedback. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out.